welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to compare Power Apps with Power BI. Well, there is a lot of confusion between what is exactly these two tools can do. Both are Microsoft tools, but still we need to understand how this really works. Let's talk about Power BI first. Let me tell you what Power BI will do us, and we'll also talk about what power apps will do and then we'll start comparing and the most importantly please watch the video till the end i am going to show you a live example where this both can be used now to start with we already know what is power bi it is a microsoft tool where you can convert your raw data into insights so basically what you can do here is you can transform the data you can clean the data and you can visualize as a report now also it is capable of getting the data from multiple data sources now if you say within the power bi there are four sub uh, tools i would say power query editor which is responsible for cleaning power view which is responsible for charts you can convert into charts and we have dax we all know dax it actually helps us to add additional information and finally power bi service for publishing the report to the end users now this is something which we already know and as an end result you can see that the data is converted into a report like this now this is a power bi report let's talk about power apps what is power apps this is something which nowadays we are hearing a lot and still we are like in confusion what this does for us okay now we'll talk about power apps the word app itself explains that well it's a user friendly which can be installed in your smartphone right now what you can do with this you can build some custom applications according to your business let me give a live example your internet is not working you raise a complaint the person comes to your house and he fixes it immediately he'll update the ticket do you think he's bringing laptop do you think he's bringing a laptop no he's actually bringing a smartphone they have their own customized business app and that is where he is updating well if you see here you can build your own app which can be used for any system when i say system it can be your android it can be your ios now this business oriented apps is what we are going to build by using power apps to show an example this is a app that we have for ksr this app is completely built in power apps and it is interactive with the system now let me tell you what is a problem let me tell you what is a problem we know that this is a report we know that this is a report now what you can do with this report this is a power bi report maximum what you can do you can go and view the filters and you can select the values and you can go and check what is happening so everything is getting changed can you go and change this data source not possible maximum you can do transformations that's all you cannot go and enter a new transaction here well that has to come from the source try to understand this is where power bi is lacking it is used as a visualization tool you cannot go and enter a new record if it is refreshed in the original data set yes that's possible but you cannot enter a new insert that is what this is stopping okay now what about power apps well before explaining power apps i'll tell you one problem which we have in ksr so suppose a new student is coming to ksr we have to fill the form we have to fill the form let's say we have a name of the student email mobile number and we'll be setting the password and in fact they're joining us like a student or an instructor we will be assigning this now let's say if you are calling to us and maybe getting registered do you think we will have time to carry a laptop every time to log in this application and enter your details practically speaking do you think it's possible whenever a new student is coming and requesting us do you think it is possible for us to go and always carry a laptop and enter these details 
practically speaking it is not possible so we have to build an app for our users that is ksr users so that it is very flexible they can even start entering by using the smartphone for that what we will do we will have a application we have an application now before that i'll show you what exactly is there in this table we have only user id two user id is there one two three four five is one user id and test is the other user id now this is an application this is an application now what i will do imagine this is installed in your mobile phone unfortunately i cannot share my mobile screen that's why i've opened like this so just say this this is an power app now what i'll do i'll enter a new user id for example this is youtube test this is a email id or i can simply give at ksr.com just for testing purpose and password i'll give welcome at 123 now one of the person is actually getting registered to our application right now i'll go and click the next button so it is actually saying the user id and password is incorrect so what i have to do rather than going and entering i will go and enter a new account i'll go and create a new account i'll go and enter a new account now this is the first time i'm logging in usually you log into any application there are two things either sign in or sign up now i try to enter the details which was not there so it throwed me an error user id is not there so i can go and create a new account let me go and create youtube at ksr.com now i'll also go and give password now i'll click this save button it is saying that your new account is created successfully please sign in back with your new account and if you go and see the database automatically that entry is coming here now this is what it is called interacting with data source this do you think it's possible in power bi never power bi so for a visualization but what about power apps well any user who is just using our application we can make it interactive right now we will log in through the same details let's say for example test and test one two three is a account so i'll go here i'll go and enter test test one two three i have to give the right username i have to give right password only then it will log in or initially what happened i give a wrong value it will not log into the next page now if i go and click now i can either add a student i can add a course or add i can a trainer i can use this in my mobile phone no need to go and open this website again and again i have built my own app for my course that is our institute we have built our own app now that is what is the advantage of using power apps so imagine this is there in your mobile phone and to conclude we'll see what is the difference power bi is only for reporting it is interacting with the visuals whereas power apps it is an app that can be installed both in the ios as well as android and it is actually interacting with the data i have shown you a live example if you go and insert any data directly it will go and save in the database that is what uniqueness in power apps which is not there in power bi and finally you can use this as a transformation but from the app itself and we will be like using for our business and the more advantages you cannot always carry your laptop for seeing your power bi reports of course there are mobile views but it is only for a viewing purpose but as if you come for a power app you can make that as portable you can carry wherever you want with your smartphone if you just have internet you can start entering the record to the application now this is a short summary between your power apps and power bi and the companies are expecting people to know both and this is a very good opportunity for you to scale up on a new technology where you can build your complete mobile app for your business thank you all please subscribe our channel we're also starting new course only for power apps who already know power bi you can scale up by using uh, by learning power apps so please reach out to our team our team can help you thank you so much
please subscribe our channel